Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Place Soon. In this video, we are going to start solving problems on recursion. Yes, in this video, we are going to cover three problems. Printing n or any word for n times. Printing 1 to n. Printing n to 1 using recursion. These are the basic problems on recursion so that we we'll get an idea of recursion. Before getting started with the problems, let me give you a small recap on recursion. A recursive function is a function that calls itself until the condition is met. So, we will write a condition and if the condition is met, we will return the result. And if the condition is not met, we will call the function again with modified parameters. So, until the condition is met, we keep on calling the function again and again and again. And this process is called as recursion. In recursion, we have two main components. The first component being the base case. The base case is nothing but the condition I was talking about. The base case stops the recursion and it prevents an infinite loop. Yes, sometimes when we write the wrong condition or if we do not mention any condition, any base case in our program, the function ends up in an infinite loop. That's why we need to write it properly. And when the base case is met, when the condition is met, the recursion is stopped and the function returns the final result. This is the first component that is base case. Now moving on to our next component that is the recursive case. Recursive case is nothing but calling the function itself again and performing every single thing in the function. And this process is called recursive case. Now, giving summary, the base case is a condition that stops the recursion. The recursive case is a point where the function calls itself. And with these two points, we are going to write code for recursion. Now, look at the function here, recursive function. In the if condition, in the if else statement, we have a condition. If the condition is met, we will return the result. If the condition is not met, that is base case is not met, we will go into the else statement. In the else statement, we directly call the same function. The function name is recursive function. Here in the else statement, we are writing the same function with the modified parameters. So again, inside the function, it is calling the same function again. Again, it will run. Again, it will check the condition. If not met, again, it will do the else. If met, it will return the result. And this is called recursion. Going on to our first problem, printing n times using recursion. Now, I want to print our channel name get play soon 5 times. So, n is equals to 5. Let's see how to do this in programming. First, I have declared a main function. In the main function, I am giving the value of 5. n is equals to 5. Now, I am passing the n value to a function name print get play soon. Now, let's see. And this function is called recursive function. Print get play soon function is called recursive function. Here, we are adding the two components. The first is base, base case and recursive case. In the base case is a if condition where if n is equal to 0, we will return the result. If n is not equal to 0, we will do the following step. That is recursive case. Now, n is equal to 5 initially. So, what we are doing? We print the message get place soon. After that, we make a recursive call that is calling the function again to print get place soon to the same function with n minus 1. Right. So, we are decreasing n value. So, I want GPS get place soon to print 5 times. One time I have printed. So, 4 times left. So, I am reducing the n value and calling the same function again. I am passing the n minus 1 parameter to the same function print get place soon. Slowly, slowly, each time we make the recursive call, we are reducing the value of n by 1. So, we eventually, n will reach 0 and the base case will met and the recursion will stop printing 5 times. So, this is how recursion works. Now, let us discuss the time complexity. Since the function makes n recursive calls, the time complexity is O of n. If n is large, the function will take longer time to complete because it needs more recursive calls, right? So, the time complexity of this function is O of n, which means it scales linearly with the size of n. Now, discussing the space complexity. Space complexity is O of n. Why? We are not creating any temporary arrays or we are not creating extra space. But why is the space complexity? No, we are creating extra space. Each time, each recursive call to the function creates a new stack frame on the call stack. We are saving the recursive calls in a stack which contains parameters, local variables and every single detail regarding that call. Since the function makes n recursive calls, the maximum depth of the call stack will be n. Therefore, the space complexity of the function is O of n. So, this is how we solve the problem printing n times using recursion. Printing 1 to n using recursion. Now, if n is equals to 5, we print 1 to 5 numbers. n is equals to 10, we print 1 to 10 numbers. Now, let's see how to do that in programming. In this code, the second line, 
we are declaring a main function. In the main function, we are giving n value. Here, we are passing the n value as a parameter to our recursive function print numbers. We are also adding one more parameter, start is equals to 1. Now, let's see what is all this. Now, main function, you understood. Now, let's see the recursive function print numbers. In the print numbers, we are giving two parameters. The first parameter is start, being the starting number. And we declare start will start at 1. And the second parameter is end, being the ending number. Now, as discussed earlier, in recursion, we have two components. One is base case and the other is recursive case. The base case of this problem is when the start is greater than end. If the start value is greater than end value, we will stop the recursion and return. If not, we will do the recursion, which means calling the same print numbers function again and again. If start is not greater than end, that is, we come to recursive case, we print the start value. After that, we increment the start value by 1. So, at each recursive call, the function prints the current value of start and then calls itself with incrementing the start by 1. When start is greater than n, that is, when the base case is met, we'll stop the problem. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is printed now. Now, let's see time complexity and space complexity of this problem. The time complexity of this program is O of n, where n is the value of input parameter that we printed 5 times. So, O of 5. The time complexity is O of 5. Now, the space complexity of this problem is O of n. Since the maximum number of recursive calls that can be added to the stack at any given time is n. So, as we discussed earlier, we are not creating any extra space inside the program. Like we are not creating a new array, we are not creating a new variables or anything. But we are saving every single recursive call in the stack. So, we are running this program for n times. So, we need O of n space complexity. Moving on to our next problem, printing n to 1 using recursion. Now, if n is equals to 5, we are printing 5 to 1, 5, 4, 3 to 1. If n is equals to 10, we print 10 to 1 digits in descending order basically. So, let's see how to do this in programming. In this program, the first thing we are declaring the main function and declaring the n value, n is equals to 5. We are passing n value into the function print numbers. Now, let's see this recursive function print numbers. First, we write the base case that is n is equals to 0. But generally, the function prints the value of n and then calls itself recursively with n minus 1 until the base case is reached. n minus 1 because n is equals to 5. We are reducing n value 5, then n minus 1, 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. And when n is equals to 0, then the base case is met and then the recursion will stop. Repeating again, the function prints the value of n and then calls itself recursively with n minus 1 until the base case is met. As simple as that. Now let's see the time and space complexity of this function. The time complexity of this program is O of n. Since the function is called recursively n times, to print from n to 1, n times it is calling. Now, what is the space complexity? As discussed in the previous problems, the space complexity is also O of n since each recursive call of the function adds a new stack frame to the call stack. That's it. So, this is how we print the n to 1. So, that's it from my side. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Get placed soon. Thank you so much for watching till the end.